Hi everyone, I am Céline Rémy, the Intimacy Angel. And I'm Kevin Anthony, the Truth Warrior. And today's video, we are going to talk to you about five mistakes that couples are doing while traveling. But before we get started, if you are looking forward to being able to travel again at some point in the future, make sure that you hit subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell so you get notifications when we release new videos. Oh, and like today's video or so. All right, so I'm sure you're familiar with travels and while it sounds amazing to go on vacation, it could also be something that is highly stressful for some couples. And we've put together five different things that we've seen people do that you need to avoid if you want to have the best vacation of your life. Number one, starts before you even start traveling. You know, when you're like getting ready to go on vacation and you're trying to get everything done, like feed the cat and to finish the to-do list and make sure all the plants have enough water and pack and you know, the list goes on and on and you're becoming so stressed that basically you are starting to get on each other's nerves even before the vacation has started. Yeah, this is a common mistake. Why start your vacation off on the wrong foot. I see so many people do this and I have to admit we even have to avoid that as well because it can be super stressful to get everything done so that you can even take a vacation. So it's really important not to let that happen. Take some deep breaths, slow down a little bit, maybe start preparing a little bit earlier so you're not in such a rush. And you know, take a a few minutes to laugh at each other when you're starting to see that the tension is really starting to rise just make fun of each other or find a way to just get the tension give down. each other oral sex that always works for us <laughs> that's a good solution all right let's move to our mistake number two that couples make while traveling they actually bring the entire family around along. So whether it's the extended family and every kid and grandparents and everything in between. And basically they just don't have a long time. There's nothing wrong with going on a family vacation. We all went on them and as kids, I'm sure we loved them. Great idea. And see if you can find time, even if it's a shorter vacation, smaller vacation to take some alone vacation time with just the two of you. Mm-hmm. It's time to hire those grandparents to come over and take care of the kids so that you guys can have some good time together. <laughs> All right, mistake number three. Couples tend to over schedule things. You know, he wants to see this attraction, she wants to do this, and they want to do this, and then there's this restaurant over there they want to try, and basically the vacation is now starting to look like just regular life with tons of things to do. <laughs> Think in terms of National Lampoon's European vacation. If you're as old as I am, you know what movie I'm talking about, where they have every second of every day of their entire European tour scheduled to the second. Right? Don't do that. Go do the things you want to do and take time to just relax. Remember, this is supposed to be vacation. And if you over schedule, then you're probably not going to have a whole lot of time for lovemaking during the vacation. Mm-hmm. That would be our mistake number four. They don't prioritize lovemaking. I mean, let's face it, it's already hard enough to stay intimate during like regular life. Vacations are designed for sex, for lovemaking. I mean, when we go on vacation, we're always thinking like, ooh, where can we have sex that we haven't yet tried? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most because we are so busy on a regular basis that yes, we make time to have sex, but when you think about it, okay, you know, maybe we average two, three times a week. Mm -hmm. Maybe you average a little more, a little less, but vacation is like, you can do it any time you want, as mm -hmm. many times as you want. You don't even really have to worry about cleaning up that much because it's not your house. <laughs> well, and the beautiful thing too about vacations and traveling is that usually you are outside of your comfort zone, which will help you feel more turned down and excited because of the newness of things. And oftentimes you feel less stressed. When you are less stressed, you feel more horny. More horny, you wanna have more sex. So use this traveling time to help you bring the passion back between the sheets. It's really important. And our mistake number five is they do not give each other enough 
space or a long time. Just because you are traveling as a couple doesn't mean you have to do everything together. If there is something in particular that you want to do that does not interest him or her, be okay with that or give each other space to just read a good book at the beach or take a walk by yourself or not fill it all up with a lot of talking and and stuff and busyness because having some distance a little bit will help you come closer together and it will help you desire and want each other more. Yeah, so don't be afraid to go to the gym or go down to the pool by yourself for a little while. If you do have the kids with you, how about one person takes the kids for a little while and then you switch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so think about these things. It's about creating moments together, but also creating time and space for each one of you to recharge in whatever way feels the best. So if you pay attention and are looking for these mistakes and make your vacation start perfectly from the start, right? Without getting so overly stressed out or get on each other's nerves before you get on vacation and then prioritize the lovemaking and make sure you have a long time together and all of these good things, your traveling will be something you will remember forever. And there might even be some photographic evidence. Mm. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching today's video and make sure you click the like button and we will see you in the next video.